Now let's talk something very practical for our health. How can you protect yourself in a public restroom, especially during this coronavirus outbreak? I learned something doing this story. Ever heard of a toilet cloud plume? It's what's produced when you flush a toilet. I'm talking with Mayo Clinic's infectious disease expert, Dr. Greg Poland from Mayo Rochester. It's kind of gross. It is gross. Gross or not, Dr. Poland says, especially now, we need to know about this plume thing. Which very effectively distributes virus or whatever's in there on everything in that washroom. So he says, flush with your foot and turn away fast. And if you grab faucets and door handles, stop. Do not do it. They are grossly contaminated with fecal bacteria. So use a paper towel. That's an easy fix. Okay, and one more thing, and you might think I'm kind of weird, but I always look at the toilet paper dangling down there, and I think, is, is that part down there bad to touch? Is it possible there could be coronavirus on the end of that toilet paper? Yes, if that person sneezed into their hand, grabbed the toilet paper, ripped it, and their hand touched, you know, the part they didn't pull away, yes, virus can persist on that. Is it likely? Probably not, but it can happen. So I'm glad I asked. So I'm not totally stupid by tearing that part off and throwing it in the trash? No, no. Good, I'm big on better safe than sorry. Now also remember, when you get soap, don't touch that soap container with your fingers. I see people do that all the time. They're pumping the soap container. Don't do that, don't touch that either. Use a paper towel. Heather? That is good information to know. Jeannie, thank